And now I'm I'm back. Okay. So let's just start with this non-tax receipt. Fine. You done indirectum? We have not done this, no? We have not written anything about non-tax receipt. No, we written only the indirect one. You said I've written this thing right, then I will explain you later. Huh? So that today is the time to explain you. Yeah, that one uh, on demand tax, uh, tax. You have not explained. Indirect tax? Yeah. Okay, so that you have written this direct and indirect? Indirect I have written, indirect and indirect I have written. Okay. So, should I explain you direct and indirect? Yeah, ma'am. Okay. So, direct taxes are those tax whose final burden falls on the person who makes the payment to the government. Right? Yeah. Okay. So, over here, direct tax. Direct taxes are those taxes whose final burden falls on the person who makes the payment to the government. Right? For example, you went for a shopping and whatever shopping you did, that basically burden falls on the person. Like you, basically, for example, you are earning, right? You have to pay income tax. So who will pay that income tax? Of course, you are the only one who will pay the in income tax. Yeah. Right? So when the incidence and the impact of the tax lie on the same person, it is called direct tax. Then the impact of direct taxation cannot be shifted. You cannot ask others to pay tax on your behalf and they are progressive in nature. These tax does not affect the market price of the product. Income tax, well tax, corporation tax, they are the example of direct tax. Then indirect tax. So indirect taxes are those tax which are paid to the government by one person but their burden is borne by another person. When the incidence and impact of the tax lie on different persons, then it is called indirect tax. The impact of indirect taxation can be shifted to other. Indirect taxes are generally regressive in nature. Indirect taxes have direct and positive effect on the marketplace of the product. Example, goods and tax, goods and service tax. Clear? Yeah, ma'am. Okay. Now coming to non-tax. Okay. So first of all, ma'am, what are non-tax receipts? So, non-tax receipts are those receipts which are received from the source other than tax. So, see, government get money from taxes, right? But yeah. whatever money government is getting apart from tax, that is known as non-tax receipt, okay? Like, for example, fees. So, one of the main source of non-tax revenue of the government is fees charged by the government. It is imposed by the government to cover the cost of service provided by it. Okay, so you will write it later. So what is the fees? For example, I am giving you the license. So in return, you need to pay me the fees. Okay, then license and permit. It is a payment made to the government to seek permission for something. License fees paid to get license to drive vehicles or for permission of keeping a gun, etc. So this is called licensing fees or the permit fees. You are taking the permission that should I, like can I open the shop or can I sell this particular product? Then Special assessment. It is the payment which is made by the owner of those properties whose value has appreciated due to development activities of the government. For instance, when a, when as a result of development of IT sector, value of the neighboring property or the rental value appreciated, then the part of development expenditure is recovered from the owner of such property by way of special assessment. Clear? So, for example, you made a house over there in this property. Right. Later on, government basically issued one notice to you that this property belongs to government. You spend it the money here. For example, 1 lakh rupees you spend it. But this automatically goes to government. So this is called estate. Clear whatever benefit government is getting. Special assessment. Then yeah. what are estate? Estate refers to income of the government which occurs out of the property which does not have legal hire. Clear? So that property basically yeah. belongs to government. Then fines and penalties. Fines and penalties are those payments which are made by those who breaks law. Okay. So over here, the main aim of fines and penalties is so that people, when you have to pay fine, you feel like that, oh my God, I have to pay fine. So I will not repeat this mistake. Right. And gift and grant, government receive gifts and grants from within a country and abroad. This is not permanent source of revenue. Okay. Then income from public enterprises. So profit from public enterprises, example, Indian Railway, Indian Oil, 
this and this they are basically the enterprises income then interest on loan whatever loan you are giving you are getting the interest in this government is earning that and then front fair of bonds so these are like for example i made a bond that i'll pay you 1 lakh rupees on particular date but i failed to do so so that is the penalty i'll pay so that is called the for feature of bond clear no i have not written this these features you have written this i have not written i have to yes, write i have to write it you have to write it today yeah okay. you are explaining i think uh, and i'm saying like when i studied these things <laughs> yes, yes, you have not written anything. I, you will write it now. So now you will put a heading non-tax receipt, and then till here you will write, and then some of the non-tax receipts are this first. You will write it here. Second is here. Okay. Third here. Fourth here, like this. Okay. Uh, yeah. Series, which are. Ma'am, did another student joining class? Uh yes, actually she has a time issue, so she is joining at other time. Which time she is in morning? Like uh, before me or after me? Before you. No, like these are giving me unwanted times. So I will tell you. Mm -hmm. I uh, what happened yesterday? I have asked them for today. Like I told them that why you are just fix the timings for Vivek. Ah, uh, so are you comfortable ten thirty only? Ma'am, it's not like it's too late. Because uh, I have my uh, like uh, physical exercises and some school work project I'm doing for my school functions. So what time is suitable for you? Like I've told them uh, like seven when I came. Like I will came six thirty from my school there. Mm -hmm. At seven you can take my classes. At eight you can take like in Dubai time. Okay, so I think seven uh, thirty I. PST works for you, no, na. That also that means you are coming. Seven thirty, no. You can take seven thirty. That time I will. Seven thirty PST. I am talking. Um, PST I will not come. PST it, it will be seven thirty. You are giving then me a uh, six o'clock. Hmm. So let then, me talk to the counselor and let see what happens. Yeah. Because like I will tell you when I am alone, na. I feel like yeah. sleeping class. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, okay, okay. No. I'll try to fix it. Okay. Yeah, ma. No, I will. What happened yesterday? I will tell you. Like when I come to school, when uh, like uh, yesterday will be a Sunday. Hmm. But like my school taking class for Sunday for some work, like some hmm. meeting we have. They hmm. didn't inform me that you have classes Vivek like five o'clock in Dubai time. Hmm. I think it will be a uh, like in my usual time like six or six and six thirty. Hmm. But they didn't inform. Then I told them, "Bro, what's happened? I, I told you like my exam is going on. You have to inform me that like, you have work, you have classes or not. So you have to remind mm -hmm. me again." They say, yeah, that's why I'll talk to them because even they like first schedule the class there and then I usually don't take classes at ten thirty because it's too late for me as well. Like I S T it's eleven thirty, like it's twelve o'clock, so it's too late for me as well. So let's see. I'll talk to them and I'll let you know by tomorrow. Okay. Sure, ma'am. Mom, till uh, uh, November we can complete the syllabus till November. Yes. In, in June and July, I have classes in July also. Yes, every day you'll have a class every week. Yeah, the, then July I will tell you my uh, July oh. timing for because that oh. time I I will get my holidays also. Okay. Then I will bring. India, India, India. Ma'am, in CUT it's same, same, na? Like in CUT exam? Yes, yes. It's MCQ only. Not a written anything. In C in C U T they uh, nothing will be uh, come in written. Not made.
Now, what is meaning of special agreement? Like I just made the agreement on some terms and conditions. That is a special agreement. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now that that uh, another student also doing same yeah it's going like uh, first. Oh, no, no, they, uh, no, she is ahead of you. Like we are same yeah. Uh, like you can say one class gap it would be. Yeah, don't worry. And the one class gap will be when you free will take extra class for that. Ah uh, yes. Uh, now, do you ever try the poll one in the Zoom? Sorry. You haven't tried the poll one, like poll questions in the Zoom. Uh, I don't know. I haven't tried yet. Yeah, ask your team, ma'am, because it's a new feature in team in in this Zoom. Okay, I'll try. It. Yeah, it's benefit for the MCQs. What is mom is cheated? Is cheated. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, Vivek. What is the meaning of ex uh, is cheated? Is cheated is basically whatever income gets, the government gets yes. from the property, which like, for example, you made a house. But of course, if it belongs to government, you have to give it to government. So, of course, all the money goes to government. So, that is called HG. Okay. They will not give any, any return like from like money of your house. Money no. Will... no. Why you constructed at the government place? Okay. Done, ma'am. Scroll up. Map scroll up. Uh, till where I have read this thing? The all. Nine. And can you explain the fine, uh, fifth and sixth one? Oh, fines and penalties. They are the payment that when you will break any law, you will pay it to the government. Okay? Gift. Uh, yeah. And gift is something you received some like you went to abroad and in return they give you some gift or something. This is not a permanent source. So you are not sure that every time they'll give you the money or not. Okay. ठीक है
Ma'am, can you please tell me the uh, eighth, which are seventh, eighth, and ninth? income from public enterprises right so whatever profit you are earning from public like indian railways indian oil from that government is earning the money okay then interest on loan so receipt of interest of by government on loans give by it to the state government unitarity etc is an important source of non tax revenue okay and then Fund five, it's basically a uh, non fulfillment with the order. You were unable to fill the order. So that's why, of course, you are going to pay the money. Okay, so now let's just start with the next one. Okay, <clears throat> this one. This is called basically the capital receipt of the government budget are further classified. So first of all, borrowing and other liabilities. So what are borrowing, ma'am? So borrowing create liability for the government accordingly. Borrowing are treated as capital receipt. It is a debt creating capital receipt. Okay, and the government borrows money from general public reserve bank of india or rest of the world second is recovery of loans the debtor are assert to the government right for example if this is a government they have given loan to these people so these people are basically the assert why because they are repaying the money plus they are paying the interest okay so once they recover the loan they pay all the loan it is basically reduction in assert okay hence recovery of loan is capital receipt it is a non debt creating capital receipt. Then other receipt, it includes other capital receipt like disinvestment when you will sell the property and in the equity, all that. Fine. Yes, yes. What will be what will be the heading? Uh, in India, capital receipt of government budget are further classified.
second one be i have to full one second one uh, yes third one yes just take whole class to write and after that i'll leave you okay once you are done writing then i'll leave you fine yeah Mom, your screen gone. You see it now? No, ma'am. Something has come. Loading. It's game.
Vivek, kindly note it down. I'm just coming in two minutes, okay?